taking over the streets. We work it. Working this city exclusively on streets 94 fast. Holidays, holidays, holiday season. All right, y'all. Last week I was talking about how Master P's wife was his estranged wife was talking about mm-hmm. how he's living like a king and she's on welfare and she got the kids it and everything. It wasn't true, was it? Well, well. I heard Master, about this today. Master P responded <laughs> to it, and I and I love him for his response. Yeah. It's so crazy. I can't read all of it, but he says, why is this news? I haven't been with this person in over seven years. She's had several boyfriends since then. I take care of all my kids. All of their needs are being met in an abundance. Stevie Wonder could see through this publicity stunt. This is hilarious. All I ask is that she take a drug test in the next two weeks and pass it, and I will give her anything that I have. <laughs> and I'm tired of sugarcoating and hiding the truth of ungrateful people that I've been taking care of for so many years. Ooh. And he just going, it's a lot uh, more. He's going yeah. in on her, and it, it makes nah, her nah, story. Nah, nah. He pokes holes in it because he's basically saying the four kids she's talking about, he has three of them. So he's right. like, what are you talking about? But that's I have what other I said. Kids. I was yeah, like, I didn't like, think she took care of those kids. And especially if she's on welfare, he probably wouldn't let his kids be on welfare too. So he's like, if you're a businesswoman and you can get, you know, off welfare, figure it out. All right, Chief Keith, he was arrested for DUI right after he got released from rehab. <laughs> he was pulled over in Illinois uh, on March 5th in the morning for having expired tags. And his 2010 Cherokee, they wanted me to note that. And he openly admitted to smoking before driving. And he, of course, failed the sobriety test. He was released after posting $300 bail. But just remember, he just got out of rehab for weed addiction, got arrested for smoking weed. And three days after he got arrested, he posted a picture of himself smoking weed on Instagram. He don't care. Maybe okay. he just thought weed was oh, legal everywhere. <laughs> he just didn't know it was Colorado by itself. Right. He just took it to Illinois and was saying, man, whatever. Like, I'm cool. All right. I'll remind you guys that Future's album does drop on April 22nd. Pharrell, Pusha T with Khalifa Drake. Andre 3000 amongst the people on there. Also, Kanye West is on there with a song called I Won, which will be one of his singles. And the singles will be celebrating Sierra and Car- Kim Kardashian Uh-oh. on the song. So mm, look nice. out for that. Turn we talked up. about Magic City. Doing the Magic City in Chicago. Yeah. And Magic City won. <laughs> yep. The Chicago Strip Club does have to issue an apology to the Magic City in Atlanta sorry, for I'm taking sorry. the name. <laughs> and they have to get rid of their name, Magic City, and any variation of it. So congratulations to Magic in Atlanta. I do something, I'll be like Magic Town. <laughs> right. The magical place. <laughs> the coming magic, up, coming up magical next, tale. Chris Brown gets jail time and Kanye West too all in the same day. I got both of those stories coming up next. Holiday season live speech 945. Right, not so good news today for Kanye West and Chris Brown. Let's get to Kanye real quick. He was in court today for when he attacked that photographer and took his camera and did the little tussle with him <laughs> outside the airport. Well, he was not prosecuted for battery, but he pleaded no contest to Mr. Meter misdemeanor battery so he gets 24 months informal probation and then he has 24 private therapy sessions for anger management that he goes to and also 250 hours of community service Woo. wow <clears throat> so they kind of hit him over the head i don't think he was expecting that but they did want the prosecution wanted him to go to jail but the judge didn't see it for that but that might help, though, because it's going to be hard to go overseas. So he'll actually yeah, be here and make better music, I feel. It might, yeah. And maybe he'll give us, you know, some more yeah. tours or something. Because I'm telling you right now, 24 sessions of anger management. Yeah, you can't spend no months in that's uh, a Europe. Lot. That's a lot of sessions. All right, Chris Brown, not so lucky. He actually got booted out of rehab. We reported this last week, and we found out why. It's because in the rehab facility, they imposed a two-foot rule because of the Rihanna case. So he wasn't to be in two feet feet of any of the the people there because he was, <laughs> you know, he had battered somebody. So yeah. that was the rule. Well, he wow. broke the rule. So he got kicked out of rehab. The judge today has sentenced him to jail until April 23rd. Okay, you guys. So he's not going to be out until April 23rd. Good for him. He yeah. does. He gets no celebrity <laughs> privilege like most that. of them get. So he's going to be locked up. He has another course on, uh, I'm sorry, another court date on April 17th, uh, where he could be sentenced to four years in prison for violating Woo. his probation for the Rihanna case. So his fate waits until April 17th, even though he won't. And the judge said he might not even be able to come to the April 17th date, that he might still be in jail while that court case is going on. So, so he had to wait even longer. Yes. He's so about it, to miss Easter and everything. <laughs> 
<laughs> Dang, Chris. But those are the breaks. So get your free Chris Brown shirts. Get them ready because the boy <laughs> is locked up. Month. All right. <laughs> Streets945ATL.com if you missed any of my exclusive news because I'm pretty sure I broke that. That's Streets945ATL. Holidays, holidays, holiday season. Holidays.